What's up guys, welcome back to Static Works. Today we are doing a Q&A, something a little bit different, something that we've done before, but we decided that why not do another one because we have a lot more subscribers than we did the last time we did it, so we thought why not answer your questions. So there are a lot of questions, so I'm just going to go from the beginning on to make it more fair for the people who actually asked the question first. So. The first one is, would you work on subscribers' cars for money? I would not. Maybe down the road, if we ever get a shop, then maybe we'll probably go into that. But my goal for Static Works is to have a shop just for us, um, more of a racing team shop. But right now, no, just because we're not even certified or legally certified to work on cars. Um, yeah. We're all going to school to be technicians, but we don't have any certifications yet. We just started. As if you guys don't know, we're really young. We're, we're all 18. <laughs> Manny guy 07 said, buying my first car, a RSX Type S. What mods do you think I should do first? Me, I always say it, maintenance. But if you're looking at mods, it depends on what you're going for, whether you're going for performance or you know more of a stance. If you're going stats, I would say obviously coilovers first. Don't waste your time with springs. If you're going with uh, performance, I'd recommend maybe I would say an intake because that's what everyone starts off with. Everyone just yeah, starts off with an intake. You're intake or an exhaust? I mean, like yeah, it depends what you're going for. I mean, I'd probably say exhaust because even if the car just looks stock, they still sound nice. Or you, know, you can just throw some nice stickers on it if you consider that a mod. Stop. Bro, look at my car. That shit looks fire with the stickers. Your keys, LL said, are your BMW parts really expensive? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not with my car. Um, <laughs> you, are, you just have to know where to shop. Um, my BMW isn't that expensive. It's just a lot of things go wrong with it. That's what makes it expensive. But I wouldn't really say it's like unreliable. But it's just everything that I do, I end up fucking up on and then I have to spend more money. So the BMW parts aren't that expensive. Obviously, newer cars are going to be more if you go through a dealership. But the parts that I, you know, or the companies that I get it from, they're more of a cheaper alternative than the expensive ones. So no, I really, they're really not that expensive. Kevin underscore Tiggs said, when will G35 E46 C track and drift days? Okay, so that one, Martin got the car. Knowing it was gonna be a project car, we were debating on what we wanted to, wanted it to be. I kept telling him drift, so he decided to go through a drift route. Um, but he doesn't want to drift it until he does an engine rebuild. We'll probably talk about that in another video, just because it's having a lot of problems. But I think he's scared to drift it. I don't think that's him. I feel like I don't know. I don't know. Me I don't know. personally, I mean, I can't speak for Martin, but I feel like he mainly got. G and now he's realizing he just wants to go fast. Yeah, like he's always been, a, that's one thing that he's always been about is speed. So I feel like with drift, it's a whole new ball game for him because he can drive, but when it comes to drifting, it's like he has no, you know, experience with that. He, we all don't, but we all, we all fucking, you need to stop. You do not drift, you lose control. Insert clip right here. What? Stop <laughs> it! Riley's underscore Wilson said, what's your occupation? We work retail. I don't want to say where we work. We Walmart. all work at the same store. Walmart. J.D46 underscore said, is there going to be an exhaust put on the G35? He doesn't want to put anything on there until later on when he can afford a... Uh, say it? Tell me. <laughs> Surface, ooh, Eddie Cerveza, respect. How much money have you spent total on your E46, including the car? I don't even want to talk about it, bro. Too much money. Eight or nine grand? On the whole car? Yeah, I think everything I've done on it. Try to say. Brad T's fake, by the way. Hey, you need to stop. No, 10. 10. 10 grand? No. Yes. 12. Your seat is $1,000. Oh, yeah. yeah. 12. Psyduck underscore said, I'm pretty new to the car game. What's the best way to start learning about mods? The way I started learning was actually hands on and just ordering parts, but I started watching TJ Hunt and he doesn't really know, he didn't really know a lot about cars back then, but just watching him, 
you know, trying to figure it out, just like you guys watch us. Um, it made me learn, and also the latest is Donut Media. They talk a lot about cars, so I'd recommend watching them as well because they actually go full on and have their own series on how things work. So I definitely recommend watching Donut Media. Also, like another maybe option would just be like going out there and getting a cheap car you find on Craigslist. Like you can easily find a Miata that needs like a rebuild mm -hmm. for like 500 bucks. Like, like in a Honda. You can find anything, bro. Yeah. It's just get out there, you know what I mean? You just gotta get your hands dirty. Even, even a new, like you can buy a JDM Miata motor for only like 550. Or even cheaper. That. That's yeah. for a 1.8. Like 1.6 yeah. is a diamond dozen. This question is probably gonna be the most debatable from all of us. So probably all start arguing about it. But Static Marion said, who's the better driver overall in Static Works? Hey, it's hard to say because I don't wanna, I think I'm the best, best driver in Static. What do you think? Who, who uh, do you think? I'm gonna, I'd rather be the tiebreaker. I'll let Bruce answer that first. Honestly, I don't know, like straight up, like I think it depends on what car you're driving. You guys, you guys are gonna disagree, but driver mod, in my opinion, is Danny, and that's mainly because I've been in the car more with him because he had a dildo shift knob, this fucking banging gear is still banging gears. Um, <laughs> handling, Chavez. His S2K. He's not, I mean, scared of, he's not scared of death, that's why. Yeah, like when I followed him up the canyons, it says like two miles an hour on this turn, and that fool's at least going like 450 on that turn. My father. Kilometers. 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 Miles per hour. RPMs. <laughs> Full sendability. Uh, it's either me or Bruce when he had the Mini Cooper. That whole, oh god! That whole, <laughs> banging gear, not even joking, bro. Oh I was actually god. scared. I'm like, we're in a car this big. That was like the first day I think I hung out with you guys. Yeah. And this whole banging gear in the Mini Cooper. I was so scared. <laughs> with me, I feel like it's always been a tie with me and Martin because Martin does know how to drive. I tried finding a video of him um, doing a pool on. Instagram, but he deleted it. VQ underscore William said, next project after the E46. <laughs> I want an E30. That's like, that's my overall dream car to get right now. Obviously it always changes, but I want an E30, but I also want something JDM again. So 240s, 240 E30. I want something older, Miata. maybe with pop-ups. Miata? No, my girlfriend already has a Miata. I'll send on hers. Pop-ups? Yeah, MR2. Don't even say that. I hate you so much. Fernando underscore Avalo2 said, if you could have one wish, Fucking what would it be? <laughs> That's my nephew. Again. Uh, one. My wish. wish is that you stop commenting on the videos, goddammit. All right? No, I'm just kidding. Don't put that in. No, put that, put that in. I wanted it. That's not the real thing. That's not my real wish. My one wish? Yeah. Stop having no wishes. My wish is to have a reliable BMW. That should never come in true. <laughs> the last question of today, which is a really good question, it's going to be from Coab98, and it says, how did you guys all come together, and what made you guys get into the car scene? So we're all gonna have different, different um, thoughts on that. How we all came together, I would say, Martin is my cousin, if you guys don't know, so we were always into cars. I got into cars from our family because my family started off liking lowriders, and then my dad got into the whole luxury you know, scene, so he had an Audi, and then now he has a BMW and an Infiniti. So that's how I got into cars. Um, Martin, probably the same way from our family, and that's when we decided to start the YouTube channel, and I met Bruce at school, and I met Tech him at work. <laughs> Technically, we've known each other for a very long time since like elementary school and super early years. And then uh, we kind of, I don't know, we were friends. Like we knew about each other and all that. And we were friends, but like we didn't like hang out with the same groups of people. He saw my sick ass G35 and he was like, dog, I want it. He said, dog, automatic. And walked away. <laughs> now, like I grew up like, playing with Hot Wheels and you know watching Fast and Furious and that typical car guy bullshit. But um, like I heard about uh, Danny and his G and uh, his car, his 
car club that used to be. Ooh, 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 street vibe. Never heard of her. Yeah, Danny, Danny had a had a car club that was street vibes, and I heard about it at school. And one of my friends, my other friends, was in it, and he was like, "Hey, you know, come hang out." And then, I don't know. Ever since then, this is kind of moved on. Yep. And you? Um, all right, so Danny never responded to me, <laughs> and I kept booking him. I kept booking him. Insert all the messages of me responding right here. It's kind of it's kind of funny how it worked out, though. <laughs> yeah, it, it is kind of funny how it worked out. Like no, now, looking did. back, on it did. But I never not responded to you. Tell, that tell actually, you. I was gonna say it in a previous question, but then I didn't want it because I'm like, nah, he's gonna say something. Uh, the question was, when are you gonna work on subscribers' cards? All right, um, I had Mad Miata back in the olden days. And that shit took a shit on me. And I genuinely needed help because I didn't know what was wrong with it. I go, hey, bro, like, can you work on my Miata? And he responded. <laughs> so that, that's where the meme comes from. But, it, like, he always responded. Um, How I got into cars, my dad growing up, he had a 70 Impala. So I've always been into low riders. I was usually, like, always classic cars. Um, and then, I don't know, like, I, literally... Literally, like, playing Forza, I think, in sixth grade, I literally saw the MR2 in that game, and I was like, bro, I want one. So then that kind of shifted me over to, like, the JDM, JDM stuff. Bought an MR2, wrecked that shit, and bought a Miata. Wrecked that shit. <laughs> I wrecked that shit. <laughs> Basically, I'm at work, and, like, I see this fool, and I clearly knew who he was, and he kind of looked at me. He didn't say anything, so I was like, all right, what, what a dickhead, nigga. Like. <laughs> and then later, we're like helping this lady, and he goes, hey, bro, like, are you the one with the Z? And I'm like, yeah, I watch your videos, what's up? He goes, oh, no way, like, bunch of bullshit acting like he didn't know me. And then he found out that I was the one, like, DMing him, asking him questions and shit. If you guys want another Q&A to answer more questions, comment down below. We don't want to make it too long of a video. But on that note, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.